Hey guys, welcome to MNMM IELTS. Uh, today I will be covering a very important topic for our listening uh, section, which is MCQs. Now MCQs can be very easy at times and they can be difficult as well at times. Now, and when I will be discussing about MCQs in this video, I will share that why it can be very easy at times and what is the reason that the same MCQ topic is difficult at times but still this is one of those topics which I believe that if you practice a little bit regularly it is very easy to nail it and you can get a very good listening score so let us understand today what are those tips and strategies that we should keep in mind while doing the MCQ for our listening section because no matter if you're preparing for IELTS general or you're preparing for IELTS academic the listening section remains the same there is no change so irrespective of the fact what uh, type of IELTS exam you're preparing for you have to prepare this topic so let us uh, you know walk you through this topic let's get started now as I said that for both the IELTS listening remains the same let's say IELTS listening I'll write it down as IELTS listening it has total 40 questions we all know that now what they have done is 40 questions are divided into four parts earlier they used to call it section now they call it parts so let's say part 1 part 2 I'll just write down P 3 and part 4 normally you'll see that uh, they are equally divided so which is 10 questions apart all right now what happens is MCQ is not restricted to any one of the parts it can be in any parts of your exam it can be in part 1 it can be in part 2 it can be in part 3 and part 4 as well and it can be in more than one parts as well mostly when MCQs are in part 1 and part 2 they are not that difficult they are easy the reason they are easy is because the options are not very difficult they are not very lengthy or they are very straightforward okay so that's the reason we call them easy but at the same time when mcqs are there in part 3 and part 4 especially part 3 they are a bit difficult now when i say difficult and easy why do i call it difficult number one reason is because the questions sometimes can be tricky they will not be very straightforward questions also the options might be very lengthy lengthy means you have to read a lot and you don't have that time to read and keep everything in your brain so if the options have a lot of words in them and they are confusing you there is a lot written in the it's like a passage it's not it's not like a sentence it's more like a passage that's when because of that so much of reading it becomes a little difficult but it does not mean that because it is difficult it is not uh, something you can solve you can still do it provided if you practice so what I would recommend is whenever you practice practice difficult mcqs mcqs that you see are there in section 3 and 4 mostly in section 3 because if you can practice and if you can solve the difficult mcqs you can definitely solve the easy mcqs so that is what i would recommend now in mcqs what happens is let's say you have an mcq with three options a b and c if there are three options it means that you have to select one only one of them is the correct option okay but if you have an MCQ with several options then you have to read the question properly because they may expect you to select more than one that is why it is also called multiple choice it's not single choice or select single option choice so you have to understand the difference between these two now we all know that this is listening section and we are discussing MCQ in listening section but according to me what is one skill that is very important while doing the MCQs of listening section and that is very good reading because if you do not read the question properly you have no idea whether you have to select 
one right answer or more that is the first thing second you have to also select uh, sorry you have to also read the question properly so that you can read the options and you can understand what do you need to search in the audio because if this is a question and these are the options you cannot keep the options in brain you cannot memorize the options the only thing to do is to read this question properly so that you exactly know what you are after when you listen to the audio for example let's say the the question is what is your car's color a very easy question let's say there are three options red black blue okay now the audio starts the audio says john is a five year old and he was so excited to listen about or to learn about blood that blood is red in color and he also understood that octopus's blood is blue in color and then he had a conversation with his dad that he wants to have a car which is black in color and they bought it so now they have a black car something like that now what happens is we are in so much of a rush that the moment we listen the first color name red color without listening the context will straight away mark red as the right answer or not mark but you, the paper you get you'll straight away put option a big just because you heard the red color you did not pay attention to the context you did not pay attention to what they're trying to say what is the meaning of the sentence where red was mentioned and you straight away put red and that's when you get a wrong answer you lose your marks and you lose your bands listen to every sentence that the speaker is saying what is the context of using red color what is the context of using blue color and what was the context of using black color over here red and blue are traps they are traps they are called distractors why distractors because they are there to distract you from your mission from your correct answer which is black so they will deliberately make sure that the wrong answer that the words in the wrong options are used in the audio so that you listen to it and without understanding the meaning you fall in their trap and you just select it as the right answer so my Tip number two, after my first tip, which was read the question properly, my tip number two will be listen to the audio very careful and save yourself from distractors. Listen to every single sentence and try to understand what the speaker is saying. Just because he spoke or she spoke a word which is there in the option doesn't make it the right answer. You have to understand what is the reason behind using the other options all right so now what i will be doing is as you can see on your computer screen this is a question and these are a few mcqs from listening section they were asked in section three the reason i've chosen section three is because it is not as easy as the mcqs that get asked in section one and two so as i said let us practice only section three mcq so that we can easily solve section one to mcqs so what we will be doing is first i'll be doing this uh, question for you these mcqs for you and once we are done what i would acknowledge as well over here is that do it with me doesn't matter if you have if you feel that you get a different answer just mark it for yourself just write it down for yourself on your notebook and then later when the audio finishes we will discuss that why we have selected a certain option as the correct answer okay and we will also discuss about distractors and everything let us understand hello can i come in oh yes come in how can i help you i was looking for the economics office i've been all over the arts faculty building looking for it but i could only find the school of accounting and economic history is this the right place yes this is the school of economics oh now this is obviously done for you but let me explain you how they you know create those traps 
he was looking for school of economics yes we know this is the answer it is already marked for us so it's very easy but let us understand the meaning as well he was looking for school of economics and he could only find school of accountancy and economic history but they did use those words accountancy and economic history these two are traps distractors just because he said accountancy and economic history a lot of us will straight away mark it as the correct option without thinking that he found them but he was not looking for them he was looking for school of economics so we have to save ourselves from these two options b and d which is which are called distractors let us take it further good um i'm a new student and i was wondering if someone could give me some information well i might be able to help I lecture on that program. What do you need to know? Oh, quite a few things, actually. Mm -hmm. Firstly, how many lectures a week do I have to attend? Oh well, the economics one course is a double unit, so there are two lectures a week and one tutorial. Oh. The lectures are scheduled for Tuesday and Thursday. What time? Oh, let me see. Um, you know, this information is all in the handout, which you should have received yesterday at the orientation meeting. Uh oh, was there was there a meeting yesterday? I didn't know about that. Um, no one. Yes, <laughs> there was. But uh, never mind. Now lectures are at four in the afternoon. Oh, uh, four's a bit late. I've got a part-time job that starts at four thirty. Now let us discuss this before we move on. Okay, why did I select took place recently? Because it was yesterday. She said yesterday. Okay. Now let's read the other options. took place last term will take place tomorrow will take place next week and this is took place recently now they did not use the same word yesterday but they used something that matches the word yesterday which is recently so we also need not be dumb enough that we just sit and wait for the word that's mentioned in these options rather listen to it carefully and see which one of them is the closest now yesterday is nowhere close to last term place tomorrow place next week it is closest to recently hence recently is the correct option well you can't be in two places at once can you and attendance at lectures is necessary we expect at least 90% attendance at this university you know 90% that's high Do they enforce that rule? Yes, we do. We're pretty strict about it, actually. And what times have been set down for the tutorials? Do you have that information? That's a very well attended course. So there's a number of tutorial times: um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, all at nine o'clock. Yours will be allocated at the first lecture. Can't I choose the time? Maybe, maybe not. You'll have to talk to the lecturer on the course. Doctor Roberts is his name. Oh, okay. All right. Now, let us understand why we have selected option B here, option C here as well, and option A here. This was very straightforward. There is, I don't think so. This should be difficult for anyone because she clearly said Robert is. the name you know so there is no point of discussing this one let us come back to the question number 23 attendance at lectures is optional after 4 pm there was nothing that mentioned about optional in fact she said that we are very strict and you know it has to be 90% so this option doesn't make sense to me sometimes unnecessary never because 90% strict these words are nowhere close to unnecessary okay difficult to enforce in fact she says that we do enforce we do you know want you all to come so this is something opposite than what was mentioned in the audio closely monitored what is the meaning of closely monitored that they are very serious about it they do you know uh, make sure that you come to the class that is what is closely monitored so whatever informations she gave that we are strict we need 90% you have to be there it is all closest to the option b which is 
closely monitored. Hence, that's the correct answer. That's the reason I said that sometimes when in section 3 MCQs are there, you won't get the exact same word as you get in audio. Now over here, the options are not very lengthy, but they have not given you the exact same word that they speak in the audio. And hence, you have to use your brain, you have to think, you have to see what option is the closest to what they're trying to convey. Okay. Third one, she gave three timings. Monday morning, so and so, Tuesday and Friday. Okay, now that's the reason I was doing this because I can see here that they will they have not mentioned the name of the day, rather, they have mentioned the number. Every morning is a number, twice a week is a number, three mornings a week is a number, three afternoons a week is a number. That's why I was doing like this. So, when you see that there are numbers here and they are speaking in terms of days, you have to make sure you put something for your notes that says, okay, these many mornings or afternoons or whatever is there in the option. I mean, it's there in the audio and it matches with the option. Hence, C is the correct answer, three mornings, because the timings she mentioned was obviously the morning times. Now, last one, as I said, Roberts was very obvious. So I hope you understood what I'm trying to say in MCQ over here in listening section, they sometimes get a little tricky. But if you have practiced MCQs of section three and four regularly, especially section three, I can guarantee that you will not face problem. Just keep in mind a few things. Read the question properly. Read the questions only when they give you the time. Try to understand what are you after? There is no point reading every single option because when the audio starts, you cannot remember those options. So why kill your time reading those options because it is absolutely unnecessary. Rather read the question and understand, okay, this is what I have to be very careful about in the audio. And then when you listen to the speaker, see what they are trying to say. What is the meaning of the every single sentence he or she is saying so that if you do not find something exact but something relevant, you can still mark the correct answers. All right. So please practice a lot. Practice regularly so that you can nail your uh, listening section and you can just smash MCQs out. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do watch all the videos that we will be posting on our channel M and MM IELTS so that you can nail your IELTS exam. With that, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.